These are impossible shiny Pokemon. You cannot catch them in any game. But very soon there might be a limited time event where these shiny Pokemon are distributed and you, you really do not want to miss that. And on top of that, there are even more impossible shiny Pokemon they could distribute afterwards. But if you want to find out what those are, you're going to have to stick until the very end of the video. I'm very sorry. Just kidding. No, I'm not. But how are they going to give away these Pokemon? Well, let's go back in time a bit to Pokemon Sun and Moon. They introduced to the Island Guardian legendary Pokemon, and these in-game are of course shiny locked, as many legendaries are, as almost every legendary after Gen 5 is actually, but they wanted a way to give them away, and so they gave them away as rewards for entering international challenges. They're called global challenges now, and it's very basic that you just go in, you battle Pokemon with someone online, you win, you lose, whatever happens, you get the shiny legendary as a reward. They did this with Tapu Lele starting from December 2018, Tapu Bulu in March of 2019, Tapu Fini in June of 2019, and Tapu Coco in October of 2019. But it didn't end there. You see, when they released Sword and Shield, specifically the Crown Tundra DLC, they ran into a similar problem. They had the three Galarian birds which were shiny locked, and they wanted a way to distribute these shiny Pokemon. So in February 2022, they set up an international challenge where as, as a reward for entering, you got a shiny Galarian Articuno. In March of 2022, there was another international challenge where you got a shiny Galarian Zapdos, and another one in April where you got a shiny Galarian Moltres. Okay, now that we're all up to date, there was an announcement recently that starting from September of this year, there are going to be eight global challenges taking place from September to May. And if you notice, the first global challenges for the shiny island guardians, they took place in 2019. Three years later, we got the shiny Galarian birds. 2025 is three years after that. So is it as simple as that? You know, are we gonna get these shiny treasure of ruin Pokemon in September? Well, no, we're not. Before we get into that though, you should really consider subscribing so you never miss out on these events. Because trust me, I've missed out on these events before and it, it was terrible. I was so annoyed. You see, the first three global challenges we're getting in September, October, and December technically are not global challenges, they are grand challenges, which is a new term that Pokemon have seemed to have coined. These are global challenges that aren't actually global. They only take place in regions where championship points for VGC are distributed by the Pokemon Company International. But the four global challenges taking place in January, February, March, and April of 2025 have an incredibly high chance to finally give us those shiny treasures of ruin. But what if I told you it doesn't even end there? There is a chance that since Scarlet and Violet, it, its lifespan is approximately a year longer than, you know, previous modern Pokemon games, because Legend ZA is releasing in 2025, most people are expecting the next mainline game to be in 2026. So it's not entirely impossible that at the beginning of 2026, there are three more global challenges in which they distribute the shiny Loyal 3 Pokemon. There could even be four. Perhaps they give away shiny Ogapon in the fourth one, or, the, or shiny Picturant. Although, the shiny Loyal 3, oh my, they're so bad. And if you want to make sure you 100% do not miss the event, you have to subscribe, you will not regret it. And if you want to find out where the next Pokemon Legends ZA trailer is and when it's releasing, you can click on the video on screen right now. 